What's up guys, Eric, I'm in the studio. Um, I got something new and exciting here. Uh, finally, the, uh, the uh, M2C uh, hinge pin blocks or suspension mounts, um, uh, front and rear. Um, I'm gonna do like a little installation or assembly video and just kind of go over some points, uh, some important uh, little aspects of it and, um, and how it works exactly. Uh, first of all, it'll come in a little kit just like this. Uh, it's got Darren bushings and it's got little uh, plastic washers and then all the hardware and nuts and stuff. Um, it does come with uh, with lock nuts for the front, and then it's got little regular uh, nuts for for the rear. Uh, first off, uh, we would you know he highly recommends using red Loctite on those to go in the back side. Uh, I'll show all that in a second when I uh, um, assemble it. So, uh, but I mean, it's some very nice parts. I mean, beautiful finish. You know, again, a 7075 aluminum, um, and it's got the threaded uh, hinge pins. Uh, I mean, it's very nice quality. One thing I wanted to point out having these Darren inserts is it's pretty nice because you can always just replace these as they wear out. Because on like, uh, you know, standard aluminum mounts, you know, because you got your hinge pin in here and it's metal on metal contact, you know, and over time that, you know, that wears out, the metals wear out, and then you, then you end up with a lot of play in your arms. So, you know, you know these Darren uh, inserts will last a long time, but as they do wear or if you do uh, break one, you can always just buy just a cheap pack and replace it. All right, guys, I'm going to throw this thing together real quick and just kind of show you, you know, uh, how it goes together and how it's, uh, how the overall design works. Uh, just real quick, uh, you know, normally on your, on the back side right here, the B block, you know, you would have these screws right here that screw into the chassis. Well, because you got these, uh, you know, the locking pins and you got your nuts back here, there's, you know, there's no room for screws. So what Mitch did, which is pretty smart, is in the A block or the front block, uh, you know, it's got this uh, lip right here that, that slides in, you know, which, you know, which is a lot like your, uh, your rear block in the back of the truck. And this, uh, you know, locks in and it bolts in, you know, from under your chassis. So everything's bolted together. You know, it's bolted to your case and it's bolted straight to the chassis. So it makes it makes it super strong, you know, because your front right here is going to take, you know, most all your impact. What this design so. does is once it's all put together and locked in, it trans it transfers the energy around the case at the bottom. So there's uh, virtually, you know, it would make it really hard to uh, bust your diff case. Because uh, a lot of times, you know, you'll shear off these screws out of here and, and bust the bottom and stuff, and it's just it's just a big right, pain in the butt. Let's kind of throw this thing together. His kit will come with the screws, um, the uh, three uh, millimeter by eighteen millimeter screws. Uh, I'm just going to use some screws that I had laying around here just to kind of put this thing together. So uh, first of all, we're going to do the front of the diff case. Again, it's got the little lip that screws, you know, into the diff case to really lock everything down. So uh, I'm not going to make you wait on this. So we'll put this in uh, in the speed lane. So here we go. All right, now we're going to put in the uh, Darren bushings. All right, now we're going to put in the uh, hinge pins. Uh, just make sure that the side with the shorter threads uh, goes towards the back because that's that's where you're going to put the um, the regular uh, nut. And then make sure, again, you put lots of uh, red Loctite on there to lock that sucker in. And then um, make sure you put in the little washers. Uh, the point of the washers is to just you know help absorb uh, impact so it's a pretty good idea all right we'll put the uh, front ones on i'd set the diff case down that hold everything in and again make sure you put the washers on there you know the main point for that is to absorb uh impacts you know, have a little bit of a shock absorption And there you have it right there. Uh, everything's just kind of, you know, loosely put together. Um, so what happens, you know, again, in the front right here, this bolts directly to the diff case and locks all that down really good. And then it's, you know, uh, once it's on your truck, everything's locked in all the way around the diff case in all four corners. So if you have a major stack or crash or something and you come down like at a 45 degree angle on this side, it's not going to bust out your diff case. It's actually going to transfer the energy from here to here all the way around and just kind of zero itself out. So, you know, it should, you know, greatly reduce the risk of any kind of, you know, diff um, case he failure. He does uh, recommend using, you know, like an RPM uh, front bumper, uh, you know, because you got these nuts right here and, and, and sometimes like some of the T-bones have the blocks right here that would interfere with that. So you can just leave those extra blocks off and just install your bumper, you know, as normal. Uh, the the T-bone Typhon bumper, you know, is a perfect fit too, because it's made similar to the RPM, you know, the way it the way it bolts up. Because uh, your because uh, your pins aren't going anywhere; they're going to be locked in. You know, once you crank big, all this uh, down. You know, big shout out to uh, to Mitch. I know he's been working hard on this design, um, and the rears are made the exact same way. 
Um, this is just a, a front demonstration, but the rear, you know, the rear uh, uh, mounts will go on exactly the same way. On the, uh, on the V4 Typhon and uh and give this thing a blast i mean it's a beautiful design like i said not only do you, you know you don't have to worry about your suspension mount breaking but it also helps you know save your diff case too in a hard crash because you know it does transfer the energy all the way around so uh you know again be on the lookout for that uh starting tomorrow on his website the fronts and the rears uh, should be available and um have fun all right guys until next time rc dude 81 peace out